All right, welcome back. We've got the dock in this morning, and today we're going to talk about how the weather can actually impact our bodies, right? Absolutely. So we all talk about uh, the fact that people that have a few mm -hmm. years behind them, a few calendars behind them, talk about how they can always tell the weather by how their joints feel. And actually, that myth is somewhat true. Yeah, so what we're going to talk about is pressure systems. I'm showing you the current pressure right now. This is satellite image. But when we talk about high pressure and low pressure, high pressure is usually associated with nicer weather, all right? But you can begin to feel that change. A lot of folks can when they say, oh, I know that the rain's about mm -hmm. to be coming our way with a cold front. But it's not so much the cold front itself. It's more the pressure that's changing with a low pressure, and there is one of those on the map right here in the four corners. We're going to get a low pressure that comes with this cold front as we head late to tomorrow night. So I think by tomorrow, because of that difference, explain that a little bit more. We're going to have gonna... a joint pain issue yeah, coming up because right. we're going to have that big change. So the pressures, what we have with joints, joints are actually made up of a capsule. So this is just a nondescript joint. You okay. see the synovial capsule right here. What happens, just like when you go up in an elevator or you go down when you're swimming or in an airplane, you have those ears pops. Well, the joints are very much the same way. They have to normalize that pressure, and we have barrel receptors, meaning pressure receptors within these joints, and when they stretch and contract, they, transmit, they translate that to the brain as pain. And so when we have that change in pressure, that change in expansion of the fluid or pressure on the fluid is what causes the pain in the joint. So you can actually, with significant changes in the pressure, feel that joint pain, especially those with significant chronic osteoarthritis. Right, and th that's kind of similar like if you're on an airplane or if you're changing in height and elevation going up, up a mountain or going down, you can feel that pressure because the body is trying to balance itself out. It's trying to, but it takes a little bit longer with the joints and maybe a little Tylenol ibuprofen when the weather changes. Thanks for coming in, Doug. Absolutely. All right, stick around. We're back after the break.